everyone! Going to do some more Ace Attorney. Let's see. We are starting the next act, which is episode 3, Turnabout Samurai. Yeah! Hi, Hentai Ventai! <laughs> Thank you for the flower. Oh! Wait a second, I wasn't paying attention! <laughs> oh no! I missed out everything. The moon? No, it's you should gaze upon the moon. Or it'll be the last moon you'll ever see. See you in. Evil Magistrate. Whoa, cry! The warrior swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger Returns. October 14th, 5.31 p.m. Writing Co. Law Offices. That rocked! See you in hell, evil magistrate. Whoa, stop waving that broom around! Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here! What was that surreal show you were watching? Nick, what? You don't even know the Steel Samurai? <laughs> He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? <laughs> she likes kitchen. Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17, see? I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. Hey. Don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Then watch it with me. It's really cool and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I'm really worried about kids these days. Gramps? Well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid any attention to the writing co law offices. How am I gonna get to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. October 16, 8.14 a.m. Phoenix Wright Bedroom. <laughs> Hello? This is Phoenix. Nick! M Maya, what? It's still early. I, it's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on the show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No, I mean he actually did it in real life! He skewered a villain with the Samurai Spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Just come to the office, quick! Please, Nick. October 16, 9.22 a.m. Writing Co. Law Offices. Maya's here, watching television. Now, for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kid show, The Steel Samurai Warrior of Mio Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was still found inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck right through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon, and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, no, no! It's a nightmare! The seal samurai is over! The world is over! Yes, writing co law offices. What? Nick, it, it's the Steel Samurai. W what? Yes, 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 of course. Uh, we'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go, go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So I've decided this will be our first case. <laughs> Well, what should we do? What should we do? How could you just sit there like that? 
We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Seal Samurai. Does she want to investigate this case or just want to do some sightseeing, I wonder? Money's on sightseeing. I don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. Let's move. October 16th, Detention Center. Visitor's room. <laughs> oh my gosh, he looks like a lion. What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Wu Powers, our client. That's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it! Murder! At least once! Maybe twice! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you saying? Um... Yes? Something wrong? N no no This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You were disappointed, are you? D disappoint Oh no, no, no. No, it's okay. It's the real me. I got this part of the steel samurai with that mask. I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know? I don't want to wreck their dreams. Oh oh, I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they'll think of the Steel Samurai now. Wah Nick. What? He's a good guy! I mean, he's good! Yeah. He didn't do it. What happened? Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. It, yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday, actually. It was only yesterday. The cast had some, uh, had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 o'clock that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. But then, when 5 came round, and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in crumpled heap near the set. Oh god. He took off his mask, and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He had been expertly skewered with the steel samurai. The samurai spear? Yes, it was a long spear that I... That the steel samurai uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me what the steel samurai is. Nick! How could you say such a thing? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids' show. He walks the streets of near old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <gasps> I see. Near old Tokyo. Who comes up with these names? Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning, I came to the studio at 9 o'clock. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5 o'clock, but I was a little tired. Oh no. My cat! Alright, I'll be right back. After lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5 o'clock. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So, he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero! What would the kids think? I think... I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go! I'm willing to bet- I'm willing to bet ten bucks she asked for autographs. <laughs> Alright. We got our information. Alright, let's see. We move. 
October 16th, Global Studios, Main Gate. Wow! So this is where they make the Steel Samurai show? Awesome! Aren't you excited? Hey, you there. You want in? You gotta go through me. Uh-oh. So sorry. But we're, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. And that's my job to make sure gawkers like you stay out. G gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. I know you type. You heard about the incident and come to snoop around. Oh no, another cow- Oh my gosh, when are they gonna stop trying to come in? They're coming in by the swarm. <laughs> I'll be right back again. All right, I think for real this time they're not going to anymore gonna come in. <laughs> All right. Mm -mm -mm. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Youths today, something horrible have. Oh, well, do you have jobs or work it like the rest of them? Maybe I become more good. Sounds like a life to easy work. I was young, things like might <laughs> maybe clothes. What are you youngs doing in the sun that con it? Um, Nick. <laughs> Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey. Listen to you who- When you're being spoken to youths today. So, what do you do here at the studio? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, it's my younger days. In my younger- No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know? For ten years ago, now that it was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too. He was. Hammer? The victim dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Will you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him the silver screen without it. Believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. What? That's probably why he thought the big steel samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what to do to poor Jack Hammer. I don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers, of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job person was Jack Hammer. What kind of person? Oh, if you if you really only knew. Jack Hammer will live on to many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in Dynamite si Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain of a children's program. What's more, I heard they were playing paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Why are you certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here at 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 5 o'clock when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to be left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But when he would only was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time that you be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Powers' request. Hmm, I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. Hmm, let me examine a little bit. The main entrance to the studio. It's a big scene here yesterday on the onlookers pressing up against the gate. An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. 
The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey, no touching. Oh. There must be something on there that's going to tell us something. The security guard station. That lady must be like junk food. There's a mountain of it. Must like junk food. There's a mountain of it on a desk in there. I see the computer that runs the security cameras. And looks like the studio van. Probably used to carry around the film equipment. Is there anything else here? Nope. Alright, let's move back to the detention center. Hello? How was the studio? They all think I did it, didn't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At first, you're a suspect. Mr. Powers, you weren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I would never do that. Earlier, you said you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. What if it was someone dressed up as him? She says that she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I, I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping. I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. I know. I'm sorry. But... I swear, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me? What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Um, not the security guard in the main gate of the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yes, actually, she had the said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never load it up on you. <sighs> She's got some nerve. Do you think you could write up a letter formally requ requesting my representation? Uh, of course. Power's request added to the court record. I just hope this will get me past that security lady. Are you serious? It's another cat? Okay, I'm... I'm gonna let this cat in. I hope that he's not gonna cause trouble because he's the biggest nuisance of all. <laughs> Alright, let's see. All the cats are here. They assembled. <laughs> Alright, let's present. Ma'am. Here, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes. Yes, I recognize this bold, childish scrawl. Powers' request given to the security lady. To think he would entrust his fate to youths of such a re unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here toward the studios. No going to the right, that's the employee area. No one had lied inside, pal, were my instructions. No, not Gaoshu! The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that was, uh, my. Hey, hey, Nick! Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those were 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! <laughs> God, so the guy map has been added. Alright. Now we can make our move. Wait, can I talk to her a little bit more? Does she have anything? Nope. She has nothing else to say. Alright, outside Studio One. Hey, aren't you that murder from the other day? Ugh! Ah, 
I, it's that confused detective. Hey, pal, you know that the prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and scaring gloomily out of the window. Um, so... Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh no, I'm, I'm so sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. Blame other people all I want, but I know the truth is in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. <laughs> I was uh, checking to make sure the mic was working, so yeah. All right, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Oh, hey, you can't just going around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. <laughs> I'd say he's a character, all right. So how's your investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right, so, detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report, the latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. I see. 7, 10... I mean, 10, 15... At 2.30 p.m., cause pierced through the chest by speed. When was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder takes place right on over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30 p.m. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. You think I'm lying? That's the security lady at the main gate. Well, of course, she's always against him. Hi, Ick, Joe, hello, hello. I wouldn't be a surprise if the old lady was actually the killer. Or, it was like someone else that she's trying to protect because she saw it on the security camera. If that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Power said. She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What kind of evidence? Well, that her photo. The photo of Steel Samurai is heading towards the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up in the gate, pal? Gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by, the camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no. Nick, he has the evidence. We're finished. Honey, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? He seemed down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Oh ho 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 ho. Um, I'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Who are we like? Wait, what? Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Ha 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 ha. Glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We've got a free pass to the place. Now we have our chance to check things out. Let's examine a little bit. Detective Gumshoe. What's down the path to the left? It looks like a tree fell over that path. Oh, yeah. That's kind of dangerous. You should stay out, pal. There's nothing down there, anyway. That's where Studio 2 used to be, they tell me. They don't use it now, though. Hmm, suspicious. 
I'm all flushed. Maybe I'll take a short rest here. Hey, good idea, pal. Detective, aren't you on the case? Well, yeah, but... Hey, us detectives get tired of standing around too, pal. This head fell off. The studio mascot. This is a monkey of some kind. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to Studio 1, left to Studio 2. What's up with this thing? It looks kind of... busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. Took that tree down with it too. Are you sure about that? The entrance to Studio 1. Studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go check it out, Nick. Hey, it's locked. Looks like you need a car key to get in. It makes sense that they would want to keep the non-employees out. Hey, there's a camera here. That's the security camera. It takes photos of people around going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went there. There's a number on the plate of the camera. ST1307. That must be the camera ID number. Oh, that sounds important. There's a big welcome sign above the path. Yeah, apparently the studio has fallen through onto tough times. They started letting people in on days they aren't filming. They make a bit of extra money by charging for admission. Huh, you sure know a lot about this place, detective. You know, you could always quit being a detective and work here. Yeah, what a perfect timing with the studio mascot down for the count. Huh? Just who is that supposed to mean, pal? Uh, looks like there is nothing else. Yep. Wait a minute. What are we supposed to do? Yeah. Nick, look. The security lady's on the guard uh, station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, they're soft enough that she doesn't need her tooth to chew, chew on them. Hey, you. Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? We had to make life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. Did you tell me to us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, that. I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These dark things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left? Just to the left of here, the gate with the camera that took the photo. It's my job to check photos every day, you see? This guard station is a central position. No matter where you go from here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor him. He went to the studio just before 1 o'clock. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? And the only thing I get to see through here is between 1 o'clock and 2.30 was Powers and Sun. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one who did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> good one, Sunny. She thinks I was joking. Was the victim Mr. Hammer a popular actor? No, that was one of the biggest stars in the studio. Was. Past tense. Oh, yes. He was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him playing the evil magistrate is a disgrace, I tell you. Number took it pretty hard, and who could blame him? About the security camera. Hi, Shinji. Hello, hello. Oh, yes, the camera. It's automatic. You can tell when someone walks through the gate, you see? When it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother with those details. I just view all the photos at the computer over the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, too. I do. Anything I could present? Doesn't look like. Okay, let's uh check the detention center. Wait, do we? Yeah, we did go here. There's the employee area. October 16, Global Studio Employee Area. Nick, this is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. 
Hey, look. There's Paris' dressing room. No one... No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Yeah, let's examine. There's a sign by the dressing room door. Will Paris. It must be neat to be a star and have your own room like this. A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Oh my gosh, today is- Oh! <gasps> Wait! Oh my gosh! The day this game takes place is the same day that- Is today? This game takes place- Like, right now, it says it's October 16th right now. It today's October 16th. What? That was a nice catch there. I didn't even notice. That's crazy! What a coincidence. Let me put on my jacket. Ugh. The glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh? It's so normal. I was expecting some cool theme snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. Well, wait. Look. Samurai soda. Nick, try this. Ladies first. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. Um, where else would they keep a film studio? The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably sh too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates minus the steak. Hmm, T-bone steak? That would, that would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick. Let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find a, something as a souvenir? What do you mean, find? You never know. There might be something like the samurai spear. We don't need a spear! And the murder weapons for crying out loud! Hmm... Let's see... Oops! We got all the information here. Let's go inside the dressing room. Wait, I'm going to do a little check real quick because I feel like some things I say is not being heard by chat. I don't know if it's like, uh, I'm going to be checking Twitch real quick, just for a quick sec. I would be very sad if I did all this and it it is not streaming. <laughs> all right, let's see. How does it look? How does it look? All right, I can, I can see myself. Okay, I can hear and see. <laughs> All right, there we go. Gas, we are here. We are in the here and now. I know, right? Look at this. What's happening? I spaced out. Oh, no. Uh, I was like thinking like, oh man, like things I'm saying and stuff is like not, I guess like, I don't know if like, maybe I was muted or like chat wasn't working. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna check uh, my stream to make sure like everything looks okay. And it, it's all going great. Okay, nice. But yeah, like, it's October 16th. You only get this once. October 16th. Global Studios dressing room. Power's dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right. And there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth. For his sake. Hmm. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Paris did take a nap yesterday. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. Guess it's kind of dusty outside. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. There must be his own clothes. It would be fun to wear one of his costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. 
some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? Hmm? This must be Powers' bag. I like costume. Costumes are fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it looks pretty cool. Hey, don't open that. Look. An employee card key. That must be Powers. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. Our key acted as a court record. What is this big head? There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Whoa. This is the way he used in the Samurai Boogie Woogie. <laughs> Nick, try this on. Oh, no. You can tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig. I am kind of like Samurai movies. Kind of. Objection! Hi, Natsu! They always have mirrors like this in the dressing rooms. See, my hair is, is still nice and spiky, just like how I know. Just like how I like it. Let's see. Uh, is there anything else here? Oh. I wonder what else is inside Powers' bag. Stop that! My partner, the thief in training! Yeah, he's like, I wonder what kind of magic I could uh, take out of this bag. <laughs> Is there anything else? No, nope. can't talk to you. Let's uh, move to Studio One. Anything else? No. Nope. No, wait. <laughs> No. Outside Studio One, Detention Center Employee Area. What? Let me see. Can I just examine and go over here? The entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this car key we borrowed from the dressing room would work. It opened. All right, we're in. She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Inside Studio One. October, uh, October 16th, Studio One. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape. It's so... so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. The outline where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was still found in the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. That is weird. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right. Sorry. This girl is out there! Hey, look. That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of those. Hey, Nick. Take a look at that. One of those black and white boards that they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone! A real-life megaphone! Ready, Nick? Action! This girl is more trouble than I thought. Wait. Camera. Wow, look at the camera! That must cost a ton! Yeah, so don't touch it! <laughs> Whoa, it's heavier than I thought! Whoa, hey, you! No touching that! Oh, it's a girl! Oh, I'm um, sorry. My partner is kind of, you know... You know? No, I don't know! Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff. Moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're the Will Powers people. WP, oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't remember you guys one bit. But, 
Do what you can for WP, okay? He never hit a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry. Leave it to us. Did you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studios isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for action sequences. Oh, I see. If the board would be fed through the action sequences of the employee area, WP and Hammer were there along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where Powers was dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. When I saw WP got into his dressing room, but I didn't see either of them after that. Do you know Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? What kind? No, 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 I, I'm sure you're a fine girl, I'm sorry. So much for getting confirmation of Powers' is alibi. What do you do, Nick? We haven't found anything. WP was the only one who came to the studio. He has to be the killer. I don't even have a photograph. Sorry, I know you're busy. No, really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! So that's what I'm talking about. A clue, a lead. Well, I don't know about that, but that day just after noon, I sent someone was here. You sense? Yes, yeah, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks, that helps us out a lot. Anything helps. Let's go to the security lady on the spot. We sense that someone here other than the regular film crew was in the studio. Yes, I think. Hi, me too! Hello, hello! I think doesn't count it as a witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else has come into the studio, she must have seen them. I want to examine it a little bit more. There's some things I haven't examined yet. Looks like the backdrop for a stage. That must have been used as a steel samurai show. Of course! That's the mount, Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take the place in Old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not Old Tokyo, Nick. Neo Old Tokyo. Oh, right. Wow, look at that camera. That must have cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Hmm. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all this entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I'd like to be the director of some- or maybe the Steel Samurai. I think she's being serious. I don't think there's anything else to look at. Alright, let's go back. October 16th, Global Studios Main Gate. What? You're still here? Really, you look as though you've seen a ghost. What? I saw the suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again from about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time for Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure the Powers was the only one that got through here between those times? Sure as can be. Oh! I dropped my cap.
she always can be. Well, officer, maybe you're a ghost. <laughs> I mean, she was here too. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were the one watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Eek! Alright, you better tell me quick. You better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Um, uh, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her? She's not even a full-time employee. Are you all youngins like that nowadays? Running away? Well, then, what I was going to do to tell you a thing about respecting your elders, she might indeed so. Grrrr! <laughs> she left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we could do can without her looking over our shoulders. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we could see that photo of powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Yes. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need the date of the murder. Oh, wait. <laughs> that was Phoenix. It looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. 1 p.m. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security guard. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, God. Which one was it? What, what, what was it? Was I think it was this one. There, entered. Huh? Maybe I got the number wrong. Uh, maybe we should go look at that camera again. Yeah, man. What are those goofy sounds? <laughs> There's a camera here. It's a security camera. Number of the plate, 1307. Okay, 1307. They really try to get me there. 1307. 1307. 1307. Hmm. There, entered. Hey, it printed out data that day. Let's see what we got. Huh? Oh, this is a picture of Will Powers. Well, it is the one who always wears that suit. It's that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Huh? Something printed out on the back? Huh? October 15th. 2 o'clock p.m. Photo number 2. What does that mean? Will power this. <laughs> yes! Oh, needing memory? Hmm. Maybe there's more photo data from that day? Nope, that's the only one on the computer. Powers this photo added to the court record. Well, I bet that backside of the photo is going to be important for later. Hey, hey, Nick! Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said anyway. Let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I give you credit for. Why, you could even be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do you have to be a... Why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it's just a joke. So, are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it would be better if we had some idea of who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady. To be continued. Time to save.
October 18, 10 o'clock a.m. It's no longer the 16th. No, we're no longer living in the present. Oh, hey, Edgeworth. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. His defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show its court at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th to defend it. Mr. Will Powers killed a fellow actor, Jack Hammer, in Studio One of Global Studio. It is impossible for everyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence will be presented during the trial and all point this matter of fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call the most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe the case to the court. Yes, sir. I will explain to the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? From here is the employee area. The actors did a run through through the action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 o'clock p.m. on that day. Past the security station is the gate, see? Past that is the studios. And here it is, Studio 1. We didn't even get to go to Studio 2. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there was only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the production and assistant. <gasps> what if she was the killer? All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then, after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, 1 o'clock p.m., the security lady got to this guard station. Now, jump ahead of later that day, 5 o'clock p.m., the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear was found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. Hi, Nightmare! Hello! That's the case in brief. Hydrate! Okay, I will hydrate. Thank you! Uh, we finished investigating of uh, the samurai case, so we are now in court to vouch for Will Powers. Uh, he's basically like a Power Ranger, except he's a samurai. Thank you for the curse yous. <laughs> Thank you for the bless yous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I have allergies. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm. Should I listen to that whole thing again? Uh, no. I think I could probably remember that. So, the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Samurai spear was added to the court record. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Yeah, and I think we have one more case after this, and then we finish the first arc of the Phoenix Wright game. Because we got two more games after, two more Phoenix Wright games after this one. But like, this one only has like four sections, so we're pretty much close to done with this one. Let's go to the second game. Will the witness declare her name? Aww. What the? What the? <laughs> Why aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> yeah, already, it's a very short game. Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need to be for you to be so embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. 
Seems Edwards was a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their name. Wendy old bag, dearie. Just call me grandma. Oh, when I was young, I was an old bag. Still, now the other children will make fun. Can you believe it? There was like this boy in the captain. He called me an old bag and well cri cried. <laughs> Objection. I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. <laughs> the witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we could get to the testimony. Now that the witness has stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone you would have to pass by. You know your stuff, dearie. May I begin your testimony? She sure is one heck of an old bag. Witness account. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 o'clock p.m. What the? Poor old Hammer and the rest had been going through a run-through since the morning. I will had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until five o'clock. Wait, isn't that when he finished sleeping? When Will Powers woke up? He woke up at five? Now, at the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at two o'clock p.m. It was Powers, that man there, and he was headed toward the studio. You saw the defendant, then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I have to think... Hmm. Let me look at my, uh, stuff. So, here's to the chest with the spear at 2.30. Global map, uh, car key, taken in the gate. I think this is gonna be very important to see. Stuck by his... I feel like this is Powers' photo I have to use, maybe? Let me, let me press everything first, because I'm not sure. So up until that time, anyone could have, who wanted to, could go into the studio? Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, no. But the main gate was locked, dearie. You need an employee car key to get in. Right, the car key that I have. So what she's saying is no one was supposed to be there could get in. Is there anyone at the studios you have arrived at the guard station? Poor old Hammer and the rest have been going through a run-through since the morning. A run-through? They were working a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. And they got their basics figured out by noon, and they were to use the afternoon for practice. Rehearsal was supposed to start at 5 o'clock. That's why poor old Hammer went to Studio One in the afternoon. So Powers was the one in his dressing room sleeping, when he was supposed to be practicing. Oh! Talk about laid-back hero. If there was a run-through in the morning, why did you only get there afternoon? I, well, had some errands to run that morning. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. <gasps> okay, <laughs> I thought she was not gonna answer. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers observing, you know. <laughs> Look at her at the side of the right. She goes like, oh! Look at these buff men fighting each other. <laughs> uh, observing? Were you supposed to be at guard station? Whipper snapper! I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. Not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, you always wanted to watch hammer run throughs. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow! I wanted to still see you. See the Steel Samurai run through too. You could quit being a spear medium and just take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. What's she really thinking about it? Anyways, it was one o'clock when I got to the guard station. Did you see the victim then? Uh, did I see a poor old hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. I was at the main gate from uh, until five o'clock. 
so you were watching the whole time. No breaks? Not even a second? Of, of course! I am a professional, you know. Who are you criticizing I, how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it's just after seeing you eat those donuts at the guard station yesterday. I can watch a gate and eat donuts at the same time. Snipper whapper! Snipper whapper? Old windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? So, the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Ah, so that's where I'm supposed to say the objection. I was at the main gate for until 5 o'clock. Where? What am I supposed to use? Oh, I can check it. Okay. Um, is there anything I could do? I guess I can only look at it up close. Let's see, is there anything else I could check? Hmm. Oh. Now, the murder happened around 2.30, right? How did you know that? Ho 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 ho! I have my ways. That overdressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts and he talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective isn't cut out for his job. Whoa! Poor Detective Gumshoe being ratted out by a security guard. Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 o'clock p.m. 2 o'clock, are you sure? Sure as spit. Whoa, who was the man? Really, you should not try to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Now, now, don't you get your skivvies all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it is. It was Powers. The man right there it was heading toward the studio. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to use it. Okay. I have my way sounds like pleading the fifth. <laughs> So he saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Got wax in your ears, Sonny. Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again. It was him. All right, it is time. Moment of truth. You sure about that, miss? Let me get this straight old bag. I mean, miss old bag. <laughs> You've been saying this yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just, just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai Defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's powers, right? No, they can't! <laughs> um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the CEO. I feel like Edward is helping. <laughs> He's like, you know, like, this is the most absurd case I've ever had to defend. <laughs> or, like, offense. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But. That does not mean that Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I know that! I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, uh, uh Mr. Uh, uh, witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. Well, however, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmm. Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edward is even surprised? Prosecution would like to ask the old, uh, witness. Please, make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I supposed to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow. Old Windbag has left even Edward speechless. She's good. <laughs> Let's hear about your proof, then. The man in the photo. 
I never did say any... Never said I anything. I mean, don't mean... Mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of his props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at this picture. You can see he's dragging his legs. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Hmm. So he sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. I never did say anything. I didn't mean, mind you. Um. Whippersnapper! Hey, I haven't said anything yet. Oh, have you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I said is on straight and narrow. Up and net. You today, always whining and pointing. It's enough to make an old lady cry. Mr. Wright, please, for all her sakes, try not to upset the witness. I think Edward has met his match. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene... Who was present at the run-through? Well, let's see. There was Powers, he was the Steel Samurai. Then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate. And... Me! And... What exactly were you doing? Observing. Just... Observing. But the assistant. Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run-through then. Ah, he was suspecting her too. Me too. I was suspecting that girl. So trap powers trip and fall. Wait, would that mean Miss Olbeck would be the culprit then if she is paying attention to such little details? Trip and fall. Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the seal samurai. What a laugh! So powers sprained his ankle. I helped it make him feel better. Make it feel better for him, of course. You helped. Did it make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Ah! No! Let, let's skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, her. She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about pa uh, Powers' ankle. Hmm. Let me continue her testimony. He broke one of his props. It was a big mess. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. The samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily I was there to put duct tape to fix it. It strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court. <gasps> oh! Oh! Or she stopped the paint by killing him! <laughs> hmm. I feel like there might be two samurai spears. Because we didn't even notice the- or maybe we just never saw the original Samurai Spear, so we didn't know there was duct tape on it. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Was Mr. Powers' ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room and dressed up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Oh! I think we heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there isn't one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where is this steel samurai costume now? Um. <clears throat> Actually, well, couldn't find it. Oh! We're looking though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the samurai- steel samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. I feel like the Steel Samurai suit is in Studio 2 because we were forbidden to look in there. Hmm, suppose that's right. Are you sure, Your Honor? Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the real Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. There's a sussy imposter. Yeah, I feel like we don't have enough evidence to prove it's willpower, so we're probably going to have a break uh, in the court and have another day to like observe a little bit more and check Studio 2. Because I feel like Studio 2, 
the the statue that is broken and also the tree that fell down is super important to know. I also wonder if someone else have not caught camera could have caught killed Mr. Hammer. You have to consider that possibility also. <laughs> then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Mr. Honor. Your Honor. Will the witness continue their testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Oh, there's more. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. True. The only person I could saw go to the studio before was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. The time poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. True. How do you know that? Eh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about being a secret pal, he told me everything. See, Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Power. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking pass by at all. Nobody suspicious looking. Right. No one else went there. What about before you who got to the guard station? You mean before one o'clock? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention. Bribe her with donuts. Oh, I don't think she would even be bribed by me. She'd go like, I wonder if you put truth serum in this donut or like sleeping pills. I'm not gonna eat your donuts. If they had, I would have seen them. Old Wimbag sure has balls. Or well, you know what I mean. Old windbags have a way of skipping over important details after all. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go to stew with them was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going to the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You have to let them in. Let them have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy? Ugh. Old Wimbag sure has balls, or you know what I mean. Old Wimbag's- oh, wait. Okay, so we already read this. Um, I would have seen them. Let me see. Enter. Ah. Uh, okay. So if they were already inside the gate. So lost. Oh. Is this a car key? S two. Hmm. Studio two. Well, the, yeah, that's true, but I don't even know what to uh, put the objection on if I were to say Studio 2. I feel like we're just, like too, too many steps ahead of ourselves to like say what it is. I would have seen them. Okay, maybe here. 
Let me try this. I'll try it. Um, is that? No, it's wrong. Pressed everything. Ah, uh, hmm. No one else went there. The only person I could talk to is Steve. Before then was Mr. Will Powers. This had to be a... Ah, uh, maybe this? Oh! <gasps> Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sirree, Sunny. So whatever happened, anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the, the ground. Right. Anyway. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all the security cam data. Oh, you know if you wanted to work in the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that the back of the photo are printed on the words October 15th, 2 o'clock p.m., photo number 2. Yeah, even I know what that means if it's taken at 2 o'clock p.m. on October on the 15th. Really, Sunny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit that says in the end where it says photo number 2. Photo number 2? The computer only held data for one photo that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Oh, I didn't even read that. Order, order. Please, tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. That was a lucky guess I had. <laughs> Actually, that's what I wanted to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only data for one of the photos. Who could be the other race data for the other photo? Only someone who has acts as a security lady herself. Yeah, watch your mouth, Wilbur Snapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Oh, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, ahem, I don't know I understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, Ugh. Believe me, I wanted to, but I don't know what this means either. Huh. Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Olbag? Ah, that's right. I I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Oh, I see. Your testimony, please. Hmm. The other person. Every day, I f after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss Olbeck, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please ex begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this is a term for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. The other person. Every day, after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. Another job? That's right, I check all the people that pass by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that the security camera takes. Did you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see? That's stupid! You shouldn't do that! I'll 
exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you could tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. <gasps> that told so much. The assistance to killer. Oh no. Oh no, the girl's the killer. I was thinking like maybe not because she wasn't paying attention to what was happening and stuff, but yeah, I think mostly the security guard was paying wasn't paying any attention to her. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Oldbag. Well, I didn't touch a suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Come to think of it, couldn't she think of something a little earlier? Classic old windbag maneuver, Maya. Huh. Maybe it might be a useful tactic to remember to use in my future career as a windbag. Find out more about this erased photo. Every day after I finish with- Wait, did I skip it by accident? Ah, this is the one. Wait, I had a mute real quick. Alright. She sure did assist that man in dying. <laughs> for real, for real. She's not doing any favors to justice. <laughs> well. Who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Hmm, a fanboy. A fanboy? Steel samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One... One was there that day. Wait a second, did you just say no one could else get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in? Those were your words. Oh... Well, you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and, well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. K kids So, on the photo that you raised... It was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? What? Order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studio that day. One was a steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be about in second or third grade. Oh, yes. Well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. Boy in second or third grade. Hmm. So only a second or third grader could like fit through those um those drains. I assume it would be hard if we're not impossible for a young boy to wield the seal samurai sword. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay much mind. That's why I erased the data. Uh, Nick? What's going on? I mean the boy was there, that makes him a suspect. Yeah, they're already trying to unsuspect him. Bruh, no way a kid is a murder, I know, right? This court would take a five minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Hi, KFK! October 18th, 11.08 AM, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Mr. Powers? Y yes Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So who is in the Steel Samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should have taken take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does that leave me? Doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. 
You're the only suspect right now. Nick! What are we gonna do? First, we play one more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. And we'll take as long as to shoot us down that we could get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. It's time. Okay, let's go. Uh, we uh, sucked at playing my favorite character, Shanks. <laughs> it's like, I hate the villain. Kills him myself. The main character won't do it. I'll do it. <laughs> What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. We will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studio was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we did have may have was not hard evidence. But there's still no one else who could have committed this crime. I call for the verdict of guilty for the defendant of Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your thoughts? The defendant disagrees with this prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Bring in the kid. <laughs> Order. Interesting. Let us hear what you have in mind, however. Be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. You accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who is this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? The assistant girl, the grade school boy, the security lady. I think the assistant girl. I'm afraid to say it. I'm afraid to say it, but I think it's the assistant girl. Even though the grade school boy walked in, we don't see a picture where he came back. Like, he returned. So, my guess is the assistant girl. It was the assistant. The steel samurai costume was in the his dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the steel samurai. So you're saying the steel samurai is in the picture is really the assistant. That's correct, your honor. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the steel samurai a little lame? He was dragging his It could be that it's too big for this person, that's why it's dragging. That was a quick mute. Um, alright. Oh, uh oh, bad feeling this time. Oh, I lost this one. Remember, the testimony concerning Powers is interesting. Please be kid. Powers and the poor hammer were on the run through. Oh, and me? What about the assistant? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. The assistant knew nothing about Mr. Powers' injury. She could look the steel samurai look with that costume. But she couldn't walk the samurai walk. She wouldn't have limped. Ugh. That kinda takes the legs out of the from under the case. Mr. Wright. I'm afraid I have to penalize you as I warned. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. May we move on, Mr. Wright. Please be the kid. Good, this fight isn't over yet. If you would, your honor, one more chance, please. Okay, I think it's the security. I don't think it's the kid. I think the kids might have a testimony to say something they saw. Very well. <gasps> Wait a minute. Remember when the assistant said that she felt like there was another presence there where she was working? It might have been the kid. It might not have to, have to do anything about the killing. It might be the other presence she felt was the kid. Yeah, the security lady would have easy access. Security lady.
Oh, it's right. It's right. Oh my gosh. Who is the security lady? Wendy Oldbag. Who? The steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they have been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady old bag. What? Whippersnapper. I could be so angry. Order. Order. Is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag. Standing guard alone in the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One in the scene of the murder. But why would she have to go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, yo. But why would she kill her favorite actor? That would make no sense. That's what I'm thinking. Like, it would make absolutely no sense for Miss Oldbag to kill Hammer, because she loves Hammer, to favorite actor. It would make sense for the assistant, because she loves... No, wait. If she loved the guy we're defending and stuff, she wouldn't try to frame him as a killer, unless she secretly hates him. But she probably also hated the antagonist person. I don't know. And if it was the kid, maybe they were frustrated in the show that's saying like, why doesn't the main character kill the villain? I'll do it myself, kind of thing. Maybe it's because she's disappointed in some way. I mean, other way. Maybe. There's like so many things that makes no sense because a kid killing somebody, it's just, you also have to have the strength to be able to hold that spear to pierce right through. And I would understand the kid's motive because they'll be like frustrated with the, the hero to kill the villain and they'll be like i'll do it myself the assistant if she really liked the guy we're defending she wouldn't try to frame him she would probably try to frame the security officer or something like that it was a kid's motive that would be real funny yeah it would be really funny wouldn't it um and miss Olbag, why would she kill the person she loves Unless there's something... Unless she's like really trying really hard to hide it. So I'm gonna read more to see what reason why. Simple, your honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. She was in his costume. She could point the finger at Mr. Powers. See? Excellent detective reasoning, Mr. White. Oh yeah, right there. Sherlock's home too, baby. You mean Herlock Sholmes. That's odd. This is the part where Edward pounces. Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new darning evidence? Well, Mr. Edward, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? Oh. The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you do think I did it, is that it? Edgy boy, don't sit there, do something. It's my move. Maybe now's my chance to make take this the whole way. Mmm. Press further. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. Why do I do something so horrible to more poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive too. Mmm. Indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. How about the other person who went to the studio? Now you want to bring them in? I see. The boy. The one whose photo I erased. There was only a grade schooler, though. As you said, second or third grade, wasn't it? Th that doesn't matter. When I was uh, at that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops. Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy isn't the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, is it because it is it to be nice to be kids and mean to your elders, day? Whippersnapper. I have proof. P proof Indeed. Let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. I have the proof, too. It's because the costume's too big. 
You have proof that Shu's a boy could not have committed this murder. Well, of course. Your Honor. The murder weapon was a samurai spear. The very spear is just shown to be here in this photo. How could a boy have taken this spear? It's impossible. I see. Well, the witness cared to comment on this? The wind bag. Speechless. This gotta be a first. Very well. The court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. The current court is adjourned. Let's go! Wait a second! Going to sit here and let you run off barking up the wrong tree, me? She wouldn't have erased a photo if it wasn't important. Such unfortunate name. I know, I feel bad for her. She said she was like made fun of that name when, even when she was a young kid. I'm talking. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Olbeck. What is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, I'll testify. My lips were sealed. The local studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. They were some other people at the studio that day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? They just told me to pretend they haven't been at the studios that day. But if you're going to accusing me, I'm not gonna let them get away scot-free. Miss Olbeck! This is crucial information! Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap. I always do what I'm told. Oh great, more people to complicate things. I know, right? No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. <laughs> Behold. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. The Noble Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. So, you were told not to talk. That's right. By the studio in the big TV wigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. We were all on in on it. There were some other people at the studios the day of the murder. Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? Should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Oh, we need to check that trailer out. St Studio 2? There was a studio too? I knew there was a studio too. Well, if you looked at the guide map, there it is. You go through the gate all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head has fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue? <gasps> ah! Would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I already asked all my questions, but... Continue. It said they had nothing to do with it, see? Miss Oldback, this is a trial for murder. I know that's silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So you got your bonus and still talked? Hmm, I think I asked all the questions I have to ask. Oh, okay. Your Honor. I've learned that there was others at the Global Studio on the day in question. The director and producer and some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they were not have been questioned. 
I hold that it is impossible to declare verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. Wouldn't that be considered a bribe? Yes. Yes, it would. The court acknowledges the defense point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Olga. And more information about these other people we have been just told of. I understand, Your Honor. Yes, ends on today's proceedings on the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. October 18th, 1.04 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, really? It's nothing. <laughs> oh, or should I? <laughs> We'll be going down. We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We we'll have to find out more about this director and producer. He'll be turning up in the next trial as witness for certain. So now's my chance to get the material for the cross examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who is the Steel Samurai costume? Could it have really been the old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying it time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I kind of feel sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. I'm actually starting to think... Mr. Powers really was the killer. As weird as it sounds, I think he really was the killer. Because we really had no leads to show, prove that it wasn't him to be the killer. Yeah, I'm not sure, but... I'm gonna push through, see other witnesses, but I, I'm starting to think. Especially since Powers has no input of like... Like, I don't know, someone that looks tough like that, even though he's like acting like really sweet and timid... It could be an act two because he is an actor. I don't know. I'm, I'm doubting. I'm doubting. <laughs> and especially since we took him in because uh, Maya was a big fan of Steel Samurai. Not because she had faith in him. That's why I feel like he could be the killer. It could be like a little switcheroo that like the past few stuff we did. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm rambling too much. Okay, let's go down to the studios. Right, we'll go back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Mm. To be continued. Yeah, we reach a save point. Alright. When we get back to court, I think I'm gonna uh, end the stream. So this is, I'm still going, I'm still going. I'm just like feeling a, a, a little bit tired. But we're doing a little bit of an investigating. Yeah. October 18th, right in Co. Law Offices. Phew, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say what you think about WP's got a chance. I guess that really depends on the people we found out about today's trial. I mean, lawyers are supposed to protect the person who hired them regardless of their guilty or not. Yeah, that's true. We're just doing our job. If we can find a hole, we push through it. <laughs> the director and producer. Yeah, them. Well, what are we gonna do? What are we doing here then? Let's get to the studios. Let's talk. What do you think we should do? Well, what? Do I? Huh? Why don't we just do what you just said? We gotta get the scoop of the director and producer. Alright. Then here's no point hanging out here. That's what I've been saying! Let's get to those studios pronto! Any ideas? Hmm. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. It's exactly the same thing you just said yesterday. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information. 
Yeah, let's go to the detention center. Visitor's room. Oh, Mr. Wright. Thank you for earlier. Not at all. We just got lucky to tell the truth. You could say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us to the right direction? Hmm. S sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. Can't really rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Y yes. Hmm. The fanboy. Do our fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. The security lady's pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love to steal samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Was the director present at the morning run-through? Yes, yes he was. He was directing how the steel samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate having to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I... I see. Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I'm sure. I hope not. I am sus. October 18, 2.16 p.m. Global Studios Main Gate. No one's here. Right now, they have Miss Oldbag in custody. Where all these people are hiding such important info. I know, right? Sus! I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. But hey! In the guard station, look! She left her donuts! I want donuts! Mmm, that sounds so good. What? I wasn't going to eat them. Uh, is there anything to take a look? The computer that runs the studio's security cameras. Huh? It looks like it's been turned off for the day. Huh. The main entrance to the studios. Probably have a police officer in patrol out there. Uh, looks like the studio van. They probably use it to carry film equipment. I guess there's nothing else to look at, so... Uh, let's go to the employee area. October 18th, Global Studios Employee Area. Look, it's that assistant girl! Hey! Hi, WP Lawyers, right? I've heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh? Oh ho ho ho, don't mention it. Is it true that they caught the security lady? Oh, oh ho ho ho. Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up the drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I- I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on props on the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fix them. Oh! Oh! Well, I'm sure that these things happen. Nothing to worry about yourself about. You're right, I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbag. Right. See you later, then. Good luck with your investigation. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can actually examine some new things. There's a half fishing backdrop on the stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably Neo Old Tokyo Castle. Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. Don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people psycho to get exercise? So the fanboys were talking about this trial today. Came through the drain? So it seems, because they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick! If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Y yeah, I think that was the idea? I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you think? What do you want to- you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious? Uh-oh. 
Well, I guess sometimes they're just made to be broken. Yay, you know, Nick. You're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes. hi -ya! There, that should make the kids happy. The things we do. Drain grade is off. I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't that make you feel great to do a thing, a great good deed like that? It must be nice to live so free of guilt. So hopefully it'll encourage when we come back here to see one of the kids. The grate they used to cover the drain. It's a little bent. I don't think it would fit if we try to put it back on. The remains of the other day's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Ah, uh, looks like we got everything. Oh, uh, we could slide it. Let's see, um... <laughs> Let's move into the dressing room. October 18th, Global Studios Dressing Room. This is where the Steel Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Power says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it in when he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hasn't been sleeping? I wonder if it, what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh? She's got a point. Is there any more inside that bag? Mr. Powers' bag! I wonder what's inside. Hey! Supermarket tabloids? Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Maya, leave those alone! Wolfman found on Mars. I'll have to buy that issue. I guess it doesn't mean he opened them up. Yeah, I think it's about the same. Yeah, it's about the same. Okay. Nothing else to take a look at. Let's move to the main gate. Oh! Hello. Oh, you look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I caught my camo vest up to do the trick. Kind of the alternative fashion thing. Hmm. So, how are the studios doing? There's a police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want disturbing the evidence. I haven't even cleaned up the, our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the stick bones left over them in the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? Do kids sneak in, in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping photos. You should see the old windbags with eyes flash when you see them. She's a bit of trouble catching him though. The director at tall? I heard something at the trial today. He said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the pop storage room, so I didn't get to see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed to be pretty eager to keep us quiet. Oh, maybe you could do the photo evidence. Oh my gosh, you're right! Oh, since we opened up the drain and stuff, he'll be able to pop in and we can ask about the photos. The studio head seemed to be pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director. More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'll still be in business if it wasn't for that producer. Producer, huh? Hmm. Let's go outside Studio One. October 18th, Studio One entrance. Hey, Nick. It looks like the detective gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up in his neck and paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So, Nick? Remember that studio, too, we heard about the trial today? It's down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe that director and the rest of them are there today. Yeah, you now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Oh. October 18th, Studio 2 entrance. This place is deserted. Eek! Nick! What was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. 
Someone must be inside. <laughs> no answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station in the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. They let us. I want to examine a little bit. The trailer door. It's locked. The key is probably in the security guard station. I doubt they'll let us borrow it. Ooh, what's that? What happened there? There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Yeah, the fence is bent. Do you see that? Fence is bent. These look like materials for making a movie set. Been sitting here for quite some time. This might be a junkyard. Hmm? On closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think this part is some temporary film set. Oh, there's some food here too. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks here too. What's up with the steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. Yeah, there's no bones on it. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. Yeah, there's no bones on these plates. An incinerator. Apparently, just poke this one in. Covered in one suit. It's covered in suit, so they must not clean it much. Or they burned evidence. A light van for moving. Staff and equipment around. They kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'll run fine. Well, let's go in for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Man, whoever sat there is really hungry. <laughs> they ate bone and all. I remember when I was younger, I used to eat the bone. <laughs> And then I was told, you shouldn't eat the bone, you'll get splinters in your stomach. So I stopped eating bone after that. <laughs> it was chicken bone, because it's like easier to like, I guess like bite? And like, you what? Who? Me? When I was young, I used to eat the entire chicken, <laughs> bone included. How? So if you like, I think it's like a little bit hard like with the cartilage end, but if you break it in half, you could actually like suck on the the bone marrow and you could like chew on it. And since the bone is actually um it's not very hard to chew through. It's like kind of like you know like how a dog like chews through bone and stuff, like eventually they actually like chew through it and stuff. I was like doing that <laughs> when I was little. I don't do it anymore. Um in fact I'm like one of those people who eats like three pieces of three bites of the chicken and go, like, oh I'm so full. <laughs> And then you see like all this meat still stuck on the chicken. It's like, bro, there's still meat on that. <laughs> but um, yeah, when I was younger, I used to eat the bone included and even the cartilage and all that. Small you scares me. Yeah, small meat was a different breed. <laughs> Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? <laughs> Right, we got all the- Oh, what's this? There's a big two painted here. Probably because it's a studio too? Probably. Though it doesn't look anything like a studio. Oh, could they have swapped it? No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, let's move inside Studio 1. Studio one. I I don't want to be in here. Yeah, it's a murder scene. I want to go somewhere place else, Nick. Where is aha? The security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. I really want the key in that, to that trailer. Maybe next time. Can I ask her? Man. Ow. Oh. Mm -mm.
What? <laughs> WTF? Who are Juice Dudes? LMAO. What the? No! That's the kid? She's second, third grade kid? Huh? Wait, wait. wait, you first! Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, lamers. That's not a kid I know. Now I'm convinced he's the killer. <laughs> How can you not know the great Salmonella? <laughs> I made Talit shows. The Steel Samurai Mine. RTFC. Read the film credits. Really? You're the Salmonella? I'm so sorry. I just... You look so... Sorry? No, no, quite all right. Really, it's fine, Raffle. <laughs> well, what is it? You know, on the closer inspection. You, yeah, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> what is this? He's so gross. Hey, did you do a lot of cosplay? Because that costume rocks yours, drool. Rocks yours? What? Hey, you're drooling. Bonk him! Lol. <laughs> mm, <no>. Buffer overrun. <laughs> no! No! You've triggered my creative powers. Yes, yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess. The sequel to Steel Samurai. Pink Princess. Warrior of the old Tokyo. Rawful Elevayo. Pink Princess? Why does it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it be a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. I don't wanna talk to you. Attorney Mui. Shira, save me! This guy freaks me out! The day of the crime. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know Joe dudes that we are. The security lady cho told you about us, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the studio Tutra. Yeah, I could see him killing Hammer. I could see it. He is... He is... Childish. He wants to kill the bad guy because Protex doesn't kill him. Yo, I can see the murder motive right here. Yup. <laughs> Uppercut him. Yeah. And he's big enough to fit in there. Yup. And he's also a stalker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yup, yup. <laughs> uh, we got our killer right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fake. I was so busy, I didn't even get the chance to eat lunch. A T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, suckers. I hate missing out on food. Ah! <laughs> no! Nick, what does suck sores mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in the meeting from noon till after 4 o'clock. With the producer, I had some big weeks from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. He's telling the truth. That meeting gives him an alibi. That's the producer who was in the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D. Vanquees? She's a genius. M4D skills all the way. Scary, though. Sweats. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. Oh, we're right! <laughs> Hi! Thank you for the raid! Let me give you a shout out. Oh, wait, why is it not. S oh, God! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Hi! I am awake now. <laughs> wake up, wake up. It's the start of the morning. <laughs> Let me shout out Mirai. Uh, we are, uh, talking to the second or third grader. I highly 
don't believe that. <laughs> you are playing Eternal Rerun and Return. Let's go! Welcome, readers. How's Phoenix right? It is going really good. I just don't like this guy. <laughs> this guy gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> yeah, we are um, we are in the third case of the first game. So it is the Steel Samurai case. Taste him, yeah. Oh no, no, no. I, oh, I thought he was gonna be innocent until I saw what he looked like, and I'm like, mm, no, no, no. <laughs> I think he failed a couple grades. <laughs> yeah. So how is your stream? Yeah, let's go. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 o'clock p.m. the whole time. Noon to 4 o'clock p.m.? So that means he had an alibi! Bigwigs. Who exactly are these bigwigs you keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. Oh, he has a lot of alibis. What the? Wait. I... There's no way a second or third grader is able to talk to the producer and all these sponsors and stuff. What the heck? How? I still want him in jail. Me too. They piled in on a limousine and got here right around noon. No, I... He's a second or third grader. He has to be lying. There is no way he's telling the truth. There is no way. You know how the kids try to seem important? And like try to make go like, yeah, I talked to this famous person. Major tension sweats. Were all of them in with you at the same the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray haired geezers. Mm. <laughs> well, sounds like they would all be reliable witnesses. We'll just have to talk to the uh, the producer themselves to make sure. Thank you for the follow, Cyber Elisa. My dad was the owner of Microsoft, kind of. <laughs> yeah. That is so true. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I could talk to this guy. So let's go back and see if we can grab the key in the main gate. Oh, no, she's back. No way. Oh, no. Aha. You again. Eek. How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost. You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume. Told me to put it in, put it on, can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. Shouldn't she be in custody? Yeah, she was, and I guess she... Broke out. <laughs> as soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. Guess I'll rule out her being the murderer. Sweet! <laughs> yeah, I, mm, I don't think sweet is a word to describe Miss Old Bag. <laughs> anyway, know this, Whippersnapper. This old lady would never forget a slight or, in or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Mm. This lady is too much. Well, if your lips are sealed, I guess you wouldn't mind if I take your keys, would you? <laughs> the security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Hey, no touching. Guess I'd better investigate here later. No, but there's stuff happening. The fanboy. She looks like she... Uh, when I haven't had my morning coffee. <laughs> oh, man. Um, about that kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. <laughs> Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. You know what? I kind of on her side on this. I want to take him down, too. Let's go, lady. Let's, let's beat him up. <laughs> About the director, the one that's been here the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick! I think she's losing it. 
Oh man, I'm kind of scared to meet the director because people seem to have no respect for the director, but a lot of people have respect for the producer. Alright, let's go to outside studio one. Yes, get the kid, yeah. Alright, you... Are they still? No, there's... Seems like there is still nothing I could do here. Um, let's see. Outside Studio One. Seems like there's nothing here. I guess we go back to the employees. Oh, uh, Studio Mingi. Maybe we could go talk to the witness. Nope, nothing here. Oh, Mingi. Employee area? Oh, wait! That's the actual kid! That's an actual kid! Hey! Hey, wait! I'll bet he came in right through that drain. Um, uh, Kitty-o? What's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't treat me, talk to me like that. Huh? But you, you are a kid! It's an actual kid! Wait, so that person we were talking to... Who is that? Was that the director then? Was that not a, a kid? What a rude little brat. That's no way to a talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. A hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody, Cody Hawkins. Call me kiddo again, and I'll cut you down where you stand, evil doer. I kind of like it. <laughs> so you're the fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evil doer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. Ha ha! Hi hi ha! You can't fool me. Okay, then where's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode eight? Huh, easy. Like some fries with that? Huh, not bad, kiddo. Kiddio. Watch it. What are they doing? What happened? Say, you've heard to say anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... He... He always... The steel samurai always wins. Always. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But no way am I telling you losers. What? Wait. Let me go. He's gone. Huh. Something fell off the table when we bumped into the way his way out. A bottle. Is that sitting there, I wonder? The label reads sleeping pill. Oh! <gasps> What the- wait, did he give... Power sleeping pills? Is that why he fell asleep? So that he could- no way, that kid can't be the killer. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He said he saw everything. Go in the dressing room. So who are you? So is he the director? Huh. Where's that old windbag? Off of her to leave her post. H hey! Nick! That was her! So stop Whippersnapper! Yeah, that sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch! Oh no, she tripped! My shirt looks happy. Oh, well, I guess this is the perfect time to steal that key, isn't it? Hey, hey, Nick. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh! This is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to the trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Let's go. Let's move outside Studio 1, and then we get to go to Studio 2. Um, 
examine? I wonder if the key we borrowed will... from the guard station will still work. It opened. Great! Let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. What if the producer's dead? Well, you first, Nick. Ugh! Not that eager. October 18, Studio 2 trailer. Oh! <gasps> so she's alive? Eek! So someone's in here! Names. Uh, our, our names? Uh, we are WT's lawyers and, um... I see. And... Who am I, you? Eve Vasquez, the producer. Eve Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. The day of the crime. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. I excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A, a script? The Steel Samurai. Episode 13. Do we need it? Um, can we ask you a bit of the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. We really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss Vosquez? It's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick! She's telling us to go watch TV! The nerve of her! Who's that? Oh, that's, uh, the producer. Hey, don't get mad at me. Seems like everybody respects her, though. The director. About that director, Sal Manel. Ah, that was a director, that sweaty guy! Oh, God. Was it? What are exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. Can't be bothered with anything else. Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? <laughs> oh no, Maya. <coughs> I'm starting to... It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there some place else we have to check? Y yeah. Wait. Y yes? Okay, gotta find a script to get things out of her. I know. If you see Manella, if you see Manella, give him this. Well, why do we have to do your errand? I don't think I like her. Hmm. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, let's. We'll give it to him if we'll see him. All right, so we have stuff to do. I want to examine a little bit. It looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. I got some figures for how much the set costs. I can't believe that they spend this much money on these sets. This is where they had at the meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster is quite old. Wow, it's been years since I saw that show. It's one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great. Typical summer romance. With a samurai on a horse? Another old movie poster, The Singing Samurai. Starring Jack Hammer. What the heck do samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh my god! That movie was the best! It's about the samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know? Singing Samurai Stars. What's next? Ninja Ballet? An old movie poster. Dynamite Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. Guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. Nothing in here that could be a clue. Just some paper cups and crumpled documents. Hmm, really? The glass is frosted. Can't see outside. This is Far into October, the dimming daylight makes it feel like winter is coming. And it looks like we've seen everything we had to see. Let's go see the director. Uh, trailer. 
No, no, no. The trailer. Go outside. Oh, we have to move so much. Ah, uh, employee area. <clears throat> Just a minute. Ah, uh, maybe present? Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me script from episode 13. Episode 13? Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Sweats. Oh. My, <laughs> my butt is pawned if I don't find it. Shakes. Nick. It might be quicker to just look at all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Could he have been? I always have mirrors in the dressing rooms. See, my hair is nice and spiky, just like how I like it. Hmm. Some regular suits and costumes, personal outfits. Um. He said, "It's a bunch of snacks on the table. I must give these to the employee." But hey, Nick. What now? Do you also not curse? Yes, I do not curse. I try to avoid cursing because I don't want to make a habit. <laughs> but the snacks, there were twice as much as uh, here before. Ah, I, uh, I ate them. They were past their expiration date anyway. Ruffle! <laughs> oh, God. Writing her lip and staring at me with tears welling in her eyes. Yeah, it looks like we've gotten everything. Samurai boogie boogie. <laughs> Alright, we already read this. Alright, let's go. I guess we gotta check everything. Oh no. Uh, anywhere that he could have been. I'm gonna try to make sure like all of this is checkmarked so we can't cola, candy, chips, gum, huh? So normal. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, what? Dakota, Tulip thank you. said she loves you and you are her number one wife. Thank you, Dakota. Oh my gosh, thank you for the 200 bits. Aw, thank you. Tulip, my wife. Yes, I love her. <laughs> How's it been? It's been good. Um, yeah, I'm having fun reading this story and stuff. Yeah, I think I've already read this part. But yeah, like... Um... Not much has happened. I think... I think the highlight that happened yesterday, though, was like the stream when I was like, um... Doing a red line of the Mona Lisa? <laughs> There's multiple? Number one. Wait. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Number one. That must be the storage room. Ah, uh, some equipment. And a lot about the industry. Yeah, I think we've already read all these before. All of this is checkmarked. Where else could he be? Studio. Where could he have gone? Security guard station. So it looks like we got all that. Oh my gosh, we gotta hunt for this guy's stuff? Where could head have been thin? The monkey's head is real heavy. Well, it did knock down that tree over when it fell. Both of these. The monkey head in the tree fell the day of the murder, didn't they? Yeah, that's what Detective Gumshoe said. Let's be a mascot. Apparently it's a monkey of some kind. Never seen a monkey with a nose like that before. Yeah, I think... Yeah, we already read all this. These are pretty much repeats. Um... Hmm... Maybe in Studio One? Back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need to get out of here quick, Nick. Wait, I see something. Is it in this backpack? No? Um... Here? Hey, 
Look, that's the... Wait. The director, Maya. Take a look around the chair for me, would you? Remember that script that the director was talking about? Didn't he say he left some it somewhere? <gasps> uh -huh. Found it, Nick. The script. Good work. Script placed in the pocket. Let's go. I was afraid it was going to be a repeat. Yeah. All right, let's uh, move to Studio 2 and we're going to talk to the producer. Here we go. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah. Oh. Script handed to D. Vasquez. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on. What's the big idea? What do you think you are anyway? And, and do you even know who we are? Powers as lawyers. Um, right. Am I a suspect? N no, it's just, well, no, but... You just wanted to know about the day of the murder. Y yes, anything you could tell us could be a big help. You know, there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. How? On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked? You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? Monkey head with a broken head. Oh, yeah. That. What an original name. <laughs> oh, it talked for you. Its head fell over the wind on the day of the murder. He didn't start moving on the head on the way until after 3 o'clock. It was after 4 o'clock that the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everything in this trailer was stuck here until the path was clear. Stuck in this trailer, stuck after 4 o'clock. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane game just after three o'clock to move the head. You called some people to clear the way? I'm sure they corroborate my story. B -b -b wait. What if the head fell out after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30. The time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. <laughs> what the? <laughs> One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with ooky. It is a monkey, after all. Check it out. The clock inside stopped when it broke. It stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till 4 o'clock. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died at Studio One at 2.30. See? Goodbye. Mr. Monkey's head data. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who have, could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. Sure doesn't look good. Guess we have to head back to the office and plan our strategy. Hmm. Should we go to the detention center? No. Our office? February 18th, Writing Co. Law Offices. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. I want to talk to the kid and get his photos. What? <laughs> it's a little early giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Oh, <gasps> Mia, it's you. 
What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What do you mean? We have one lead. The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? B -b no way am I telling you losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you could find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy's our last hope, Phoenix. So is there any motive for our defendant to have done the murder? No, our defendant really has no motive because he's pretty good friends with Hammer. So they said like everyone that's been um like I guess like motive for the killing doesn't make any sense except the director. I could see the director killing uh, Hammer. The kid kid not really because kid can't really fit in the costume and he isn't as um bad as the director's director so phased oh god he's like has a child spirit in him thanks now i'm more worried than i was before i want to talk to you what to do so what's the best thing to do from here we need to get to the studio and talk to that boy any ideas do you have any ideas who might have done this? I don't have enough information to get to the case yet. Where have I heard this phrase before? So that's where Maya got it from. Alright, let's go to the main gate. The empty pill bottle completely had me stumped. I think... Hammer... Got hammered. <laughs> he got hammered by sleeping pills. Wrong. Oh, 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 oh. Whippersnapper. She's been chasing that boy the whole time. Oh, when, when I catch Amaya. Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. Oh, oh I got a hostage now. Whippersnapper. A hostage? Tell me more. Um, what happened to the fanboy? If, if I see him again, oh, oh. Lay him flat. Oh. My, what a violent old lady. Oh my gosh, Mia, don't do that. <laughs> oh no, that's, that's gonna make people swoon. Actually, I met with the director just now. It? Huh? My heart, I don't feel so good. Is she okay? But before I go, I'd like to visit the place where... Hammer died. Right, where she was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. What's this about a hostage? Uh, uh, when that boy was running away, he dropped this and, and ran. Uh, he, he came back for this one. This kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might have been what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea, Miss Oldbag. Might I? No! I'm catching that bread if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything that might trade with her? Trade, hmm. Huh? Wonder. Anything I could trade her with? Hmm. Put her to sleep, will I? Oh, I, I can't do that. I'm gonna hyperventilate if I try to read that. <laughs> She's too busy catching her breath to tell me anything. Oh, let's move. Outside Studio One. We're gonna go to the scene of the crime. See if we can find something there. Hmm, maybe there isn't anything. Hmm, maybe to... The employee area? Okay. 
There he is. Hey. Hey, you. Wait, wait a sec. Phoenix. Was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. Got you cornered. Sure to be in here somewhere. Found you. Darn it, he's getting away. Come back. There, he's back. How did she... There, would you mind helping us out? Please? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Fay. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? <laughs> Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. The Steel Samurai. Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's the, um, the bomb? Huh. What a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai. Hey, watch the attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell it like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. Oh my gosh. So, do you know anything that happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm, looks a little persuasion. Looks like a little persuasion fester. Maybe a bribe? I'm gonna have to find bribes all over the place. What the? All right, yeah, so that's where I have to talk to the old lady. So the old lady, she wants something that represents... Hammer, and then she'll probably give us something. All right, man, we have to get the taser. Oh, no. All right, let's uh, move to the trailer. Can we go to the detention center, maybe get some info? Oh, yeah, we can. I guess Mr. Powers is in questioning. Yeah. Let's try again another day, Phoenix. Oh, he's not here. Okay, we're gonna go to the trailer. Ah, uh, Studio 2. Move to the trailer. Huh. There's nothing here. That is odd. Wait. What could I give? What could I give the old lady? What could I give the old lady? Huh? We go back inside, see where? I don't even think there's anything in here that I could get out of this. Yeah, and where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. Hmm. Yeah, there's... Okay, maybe I should talk to the old lady again. Maybe I do have something I could persuade her with. Is it? Sleeping pills? Oh, wait, I already did this. No, wait. I don't even know. I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm thinking. Everything was going so smoothly and then I don't know. Wait, there's some Let's see. Oh, wait, are you... Oh, look at this! Spaghetti in a soda can? S spaghetti? Wouldn't there just be sauce come out of the noodles all stay stuck inside? Best when slammed. I guess that's what you want to drink in one gulp. Slamming spaghetti? Right. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Hmm. 
looks like one of those electric powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Where have I heard this line before? Yeah, Maya said this before. That's so funny. The drain where the fanboy came in. I didn't waste any time coming in either. Talk about a cause and effect. I know, right? Hmm. Alright. Uh, back to... No, no, it's a dressing room. He's just gonna be waiting there. Uh, can we talk? Nope. Um... Hmm. The only thing I can think of is that there might be something in... Studio 1 that I haven't observed. I'm gonna click everything to make sure. Doesn't seem to be switched off today. Uh, quick to do. Kind of like nobody came. Let's see, there's a clock in the speaker that might continue to go by Ooking. Clock is stopped at 2.15 now. This is the path that goes to CD2. The mascot's head fell on the path of murder. Uh... Entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. <gasps> where? I searched everything! Alright, let me go inside Studio Two and I'm gonna examine around here. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They kept it pretty good shape. Looks like it would run fine. Incinerator, they just put one in. Covered in suit, not clean it much. Looks like two people ate here, there's nothing left. There's a big two, probably because it's Studio 2, probably, though it doesn't look like anything like a studio. These two look like materials for a movie set. Get some time in the junkyard. Nameless Flower Bloom in Solitude, proper name, it's not to know. I need a vacation. <laughs> Close question. The trailer has been here for a while. I don't think this is part of some temporary film set. Door is unlocked. We could probably just walk right in. Where? I have hunted everywhere. Is there new things to examine? Oh, there is. Another old movie poster. The Singing Samurai starring Jack Hammer. What the heck do you say for singing about chopping off heads? It's a samurai music musical set in ancient Japan. Is a samurai musical? Is that even a genre? Well, I'm impressed. You know your stuff, Mia. Oh, Maya's a real fan. I just picked a little up. Samurai Samurai starring Jack Hammer. I've been here for years. This is one of Maya's favorite movies. Maybe we should replace the poster in the office with this one. That would be kind of sad. Hmm. I feel like I really have examined everything. What's that? Boring! Yeah, how can one person be so lame? If you were a superhero, you'd be a lame man Okay. Well, he seems a little bit better. Uh, let's see, is there anything I can... Array of cosmetics? According to Maya, that would be good on a TV show. I don't know! You don't know Samurai Boogie Wookie! You're even lamer than I thought. What does everybody but me know about this show? You're so busy. <laughs> Mr. Powers is bad. Now, Phoenix is not polite to look through other people's belongings. But hey, don't look at me. Tell that to your sister. Lame old man is a good friend of mine. 
There's a box of snacks on the table and some cans of soda. They're all empty. I'm glad Maya isn't here to say this. She'd be devastated. Sorry. What was that about Maya? Oh, nothing. Looks like we got everything. I... You know what? I think one last place we could actually look at is... We could check the detention center again. No! Where? Where? We present something. I'm gonna try everything. Because I have gotten absolutely everything I have. Oh, <gasps> wait. I got something. This old bag? I'm borrowing this, just so you know. Okay, Huff. Just be sure to give it back. Huff. She's not demanding when she's exhausted. Uh, man, I... I can't think. Actually lost. I have examined absolutely everything. Did I examine the signs? Ah! <laughs> I already went to studio to. Studio one? Let me see if I can examine everything here. Something has to happen. Here, here, here. And the sad thing is, is that I can't really save wherever I am. So it's like, the only thing I could think of is that I would have to probably look up a guide on how to proceed. You know what? I feel like I'm going to be going in circles. Let me uh, look at the samurai turnabout case real quick. I'm going to free you guys from this torment. <laughs> uh, Phoenix... Right, steel samurai. Uh, day two. Oh my gosh, everybody struggles with this. Um, move inside the trailer, which I've already. Wait, let me see what. Um. Let me, uh, see, uh, what to give old bag. Lend her the car key. Wait. Yeah. Alright, so where am I? I can't even tell. This thing is so... I could probably just try to show on screen what I'm looking at, but I am, like, so confused. <laughs> I am confusion. Yeah, I'm, like, looking at this right now, and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's just so much stuff to find for this guide. <laughs> I'm trying to find the URP card. Okay. Uh, she has a hostage, but it won't tell you the details, though. Although it would be hard to ignore the huffing and puffing poor old bag. Talk to her anyway for details. Uh, she'll lay him flat. Present the card key, and she will trade it for the hostage. So collect. Lend her the card. Where do I get the card key from? Right in law offices. Uh, 
Yeah, Cody Hawkins. Where do I get the card key? All right, let me... So apparently it's saying I already have it. Uh, let me hide this for a second. This trailer key, empty bottle. Oh, <gasps> this! Oh, <gasps> wait! Of course you would want to see this. Hey, that, of, that's a card of Studio One. Right, a car key to Studio One. Huff, puff, I could visit poor Hammer. I'd like to visit. He died. Oh, I was his, his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Oldbag? Studio One is in my turf. Huff, puff. Let me borrow. Borrow it then? If I give her the car key, then I won't be able to go into Studio One. Yeah, I don't need it anymore. Why don't you let her borrow a phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Old Bag. Car key lent to old old Miss Old Bag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You could have this, and we're even. Deal? What's this? A steel samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figured it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have some use for this. This might be the hostage she was talking about. Right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off to the studio. Alright, let's present your hostage. Cody, this look familiar? Hey, my, you are! You are, huh? So it's like, ultra rare? You are. You know, ultra rare? That card's basically hard to get. Man, for grown-up, you sure dumb. I'll give you this. If you help me. That's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect. Eschewing the, the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for grown-up, you're sure dumb. Well, what do they teach these kids at school nowadays? Yeah, he got a UR. That's pretty rare. He probably could sell it for $500. Whatever. You need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After what I went through, all the trouble. You want to trade? Find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, for a grown up, you sure do. I, I mean, I've never heard of that. <laughs> premium rare? Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? Hmm. Now we're just gonna be idling around until we find someone to talk to. Uh, Studio 2. Aha! Studio 2 trailer. Oh, hi! Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? Um, the girl with you, doesn't she seem a little different? Like, she even the same person as before? Um, nope, she's the same person as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around the boy so fast, I thought she'd collapse. Of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back in the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes, it's a really terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, 
After what happened? After what happened? You mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. What happened? Now. Wait, now that you tell me, what happened with Hammer? I I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one you sh should tell you. Uh-oh. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Aha. Uh -huh. There's nothing I could grab here. Um, let's see, boy area? Is there anyone here? No, Gudeska. No? Alright. So if we want to talk to him, we gotta get a premium card for him. Let's, uh, move to... Let me see the detention center. No. Brandon Co. Law Offices? No. Let's see, um... Hmm. So it has to be the trailer, something there. Oh no, I keep moving to the wrong place. No. Premium rare is when they have gold in the car. Yeah. All right, this time, Studio 2. Trailer. All right, let's present something to her. Um, let's see, does she have something to say? Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Seal Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. Complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Oh. Wait. Whoa, 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 wait. That's it. That's the card I need. You don't know how long I've been waiting looking for it. Uh, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card. <laughs> Please, I beg you, please, trade with me. <laughs> oh my gosh, we see another side of it. And here's your chance. To trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade me a what? Huh? Yes, it's a good deal for you. Your ultra rare, please. Phoenix, can you see she's desperate? W why is everybody getting so excited about it? Yes, let's trade. Okay. Really? Thanks. This is for you. She's dork! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> and there she goes. Doesn't doing things good, uh, doing good things like this make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Let's go, we got... We got it! Alright, to the main gate! Oops, no, 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 no. <laughs> Move to employee area. So much moving. Alright, we are here to present you a URP card. See this card? Yes, wait! Th that's it. That's the last ultra rare premium card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Wow, I've never seen him so eager. R right, okay. How about a trick? You're on! I'll give you a samurai spear and throw it into the evil madis magistrate to boot. No, 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 not that kind of trade. I don't want cards, I want information. Uh-huh, you sure? Fine by me. You are a P card given to Kali. <gasps> Hi, Ito! Hello, hello, hello! I wouldn't need that when I have a TCG player not sponsored. How are you enjoying this? I'm enjoying you very well. I'm on the third case, the second day. And, oh, I did get a little stuck, but I'm okay now. Yeah. I know you really love this series. Yeah. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we could take him to the stand tomorrow. Yeah. All right, you have talk, speak. So, you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool. I... I guess you're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a great schooler. You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh me? Yeah, I um love the Steel Samurai. So tell me about your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. 
Um, it's kind nature. His fighting skills. Who powers ice? Um, his fighting skills? Gotta think of something. I like it when he uh vanquishes his foes. Yeah, what's that? The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out. This is my fan album. Oh my gosh, Samurai Scrapbook. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Those stupidly publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public? I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow with Sam. I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. It's just for my birthday. Ooh, I gotta meet for a sec. It looks like I didn't have to meet. Nice! Okay. My album has a name. Wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai. Path to glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took this with a digital camera. But can he be Goku? <laughs> but that's the real questions. Can the Steel Samurai beat Goku? I think not. Can he beat One Punch Man? I think not. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. He's not called Two Punch Man. Well, I'm happy to accept. Thank you. After glory received. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life! You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. <laughs> He's like, pretty lady. A wooga. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that with Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice, too. He can't be Goku, though. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I... I saw... I saw everything. Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. We saw. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here the day around 2 o'clock. I had to come through the woods, out back so the old lady couldn't see me. got kind of lost, though. I was there for maybe half an hour or so. But I finally got to the studio after that. What is it, Cody? The, the Steel Samurai killed the bad guy! Used a samurai spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I... I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you always say nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Mia? Yes? I think we could say for sure that this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. The director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who it could have been was Will Powers. You have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think it would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal! No, Gumshu! I heard everything. This boy's here, the key witness. And he's under police protection starting now. Come on, Sam. You've got a rendezvous with me down the precinct. No! I ain't going! Why? <laughs> that didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. Well, what are we gonna do, Mia? Well, hmm. I really need to get going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. C come to trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Mm, I don't think so. I don't really think so. I have to say I believe.
This is what the game wants me to believe. It wants me to believe that Mr. Powers is innocent because all the defendants that Phoenix Wright protects is always not guilty. It really can be him. I really think it is. But I'm going to say I believe. Of course he is. That is all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. I feel like he's not innocent, but the game wants us to believe he is. Alright, this is a good stop. Place to stop. Let's go. Thank you, thank you for coming. Ooh, that was a chonker. <laughs> Alright, let's see. They could be trying to throw you in with that too. Yeah, they sure are. Yeah. That, that case was crazy. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let me see if there is someone I could read for today. Let's see. We could raid. Uh, we could raid. Wow, Mio. She is doing just chatting. Yeah. Oh, why am I face frozen? <laughs> have a good day, everyone. Yeah. And I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Excellent. Press the wrong screen. See you later.